It is indeed require. So I'm just going to go ahead and use require. So require, and that's a list form. So service, and it is stop sshd. All right, so that's going to go ahead and stop it and then start it properly. And I'll say this is init.sls just for the sake of it. And the templates. So let's go ahead and take the current config. And we'll add something to it in a comment saying that this has been reacted or so on. And we can send our own, uh, oops, I'm terrible with this mouse. We can send our own message to the event bus regarding this particular thing, or we just modify it. And I think that might be easier. Sorry, it's a little highlight, it's, um, weird to highlight with this mouse. So here's our templates and a new file. And I believe we called it sshd config. Yep, we did, and that's the mode. All right, so that's that. Uh, okay, so if we got that working, we've got the reactor, and let me just make sure the reactor, data ID, target SSHD, that's what we've called it here. Okay, we've got our config. All right, so let's go ahead and add everything, and then we will push it to our repository. I, remember, I haven't tested this. I only wrote part of the reactor before starting this video, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, adds, add reactor for SSHD config. All right, there we go. Now, here, uh, we'll need to do two things. So, one, I wanna make sure that the state actually works. Uh, oh, oops, I forgot to put the message in there. Uh, in our SSHD. So we could say this has been reacted or something. All right, so there's our message. And then we've got this. Sweet. So I'm just going to go ahead and run. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, oops, and test out the SSHD. And then I will revert it. Um, I'll revert the file. And then we'll see if the rea reactor works. So. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't forget to do get pull. All there we go. Now, if we take a look at the file, yep. See, this has been reacted. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and vi that, delete that file, and then we'll trigger a salt event on the mess. This has already triggered a salt event, by the way, but the master hasn't restarted just yet. So uh, all right. So that restarted the master. Let's see, once we get ping working with all the instances, then we'll go ahead and get started with the reaction. It just takes a little bit sometimes. All right, so now that that's there, um, let's go ahead, I'm gonna open a third window or third pane here. And that's a little hard to look at. So with this one, 
I'm going to go ahead and listen to the event bus. And this one will just be the file. Actually, you know what? Let's open that third pane on the other side. So. There's a third pane, and then we will go to the, we will go to our minion of the master. Sorry, we'll go to our master, listen in on the event bus, and on that particular one, and then we'll trigger the event and see if it works properly. Again, this hasn't been tested, so don't expect it to work. I think that was the same IP. That was probably the same IP. All right, so salt call, I forgot how the event bus is listened into. Yeah, salt run state dot event. Run state dot event. Go tr All right, so there's the event bus kicked off. Now if I VI this file, this line should be replaced. Okay, it's been written to. There's the event down here. And we may or may not see this file get through. Unless I messed up, which is likely the case. So the tag has occurred. Nope, it's still there. All right, well, since it didn't work, let's see what we did wrong. So here, if we look at, actually, yeah, let's take a look at the salt master vlogs in varlog salt master. So I don't see anything particular to the reactor. Ah, it says the template is empty file. So every solid state pillars, base, beacons, in a data SLS. Let's see. Why is that an empty file? So pillars, base, in a data SLS. Oh, it's not empty now. I think those are the before. So that's fine. So do not import. That's fine. There's nothing in the event bus that's happening. So let's take a look at our config again. Saltmaster.d, reactor.conf. And I've got reactor, salt beacon, star, I notify, etc, sshd, sshd config. Which is exactly how I would want that. And in the example, we do see that stars can be used within the tag. Yes, that's right. That's true stars can be used within the tag and the file is located in its correct place perhaps maybe it's not so we've got srv salt states reactor ssh config ssh config dot sls is the sls yes the sls is stated here so that's not it Um, so the reactor should work. I've got the reactor set correctly. All right, well, there's a section here that says debugging the reactor. Calling reactor, best practices, system capabilities, manually getting information about events, debugging the reactor. All right, so if we run salt master in debug function, we can see that. All right, so let's do that. Let's cancel the event bus for now, and then we will salt master. Slash user salt master. Okay, so this runs it in debug mode, which That's a lot of messages. Okay. So let me make sure that we can target and ping everything on this window. Great. We've got that. 
and we will listen to the event bus here still and we will see it here and then this we'll just say this again so that modifies the file so there's the event and then this is what's happening here it says rendered file from SRV salt states, so on and so on. YAML order dict, reading, configuration. No minions match the target. No command was sent. So that's the problem. It's that no minion matched the target. So this data ID is not working correctly, even though it should be. So with that said, let's figure out what's going on with that. So if you look here, it says data accounts. So they're looking, they're particularly looking at the, at the event data as well. So it should work. I'm not sure why my data isn't working. Data ID. Did I not have the right ID? I spelled it right. Yep, I spelled it correctly. They have single quotes as well. Aha, I didn't do it correctly because it's in Jinja format, not in, um, excuse me, not in uh, regular string format. It needs to be like that. There we go. And now, Mm, change reactor target to Jinja format. Oops. Sorry, this is taking a while. I know, like I said, this is what I get for not testing it out in the first place, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. I'm going to cancel that because the event bus is not going to be listening to it afterwards, anyways. There we go. So we will do get pull. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep on listening to the debug here. And that's fine. And I will want to test out that it test ping works. It works with that. It doesn't work with itself, which is kind of weird. I always thought. Yep, there we go. All right, so listen to the event bus. And then I'll do this again. And then I'll just replace the word or at the end of the line, I'll add another again. Okay, there's the event. And data has no attribute ID. Okay, to save some time, I did figure out what the issue was. And I'm going to go, have, go over it with you uh, right now. So if you look at uh, the logs, there's actually two data. First is the variable data. And then there's the data key, which has another sub key named ID. And that's where our problem is, because I'm actually just looking for the ID within the first key, not in the second subset data key. So if you look um, here, first of all, uh, if you already haven't done this, change it in a ginger format. We need to change this into data, data subkey. Also, one more thing I missed, state.sls only has arg, not args. So that's another thing you might miss. It's, I know it's args in some places in salt and it's arg in other places and it's so annoying. I must admit, it's very annoying. Um, but that is what it is. I also found, I also ran into that issue. So now that that being said, I'm going to go ahead and Add, nope, not reset. Um, oh, well, whatever. Let's reset. And I'll push it to the master. All right, so now that it's in the master, I will go ahead and close this. Do git pull. Debug mode. And then make sure everything is testing properly here. We've got two of them listening on the state. 
and then vi the file, and I'll add another word named again. And there it is. So now when you look at the event, and we'll go over the, uh, the debug log in a second. If you look at the event, um, let's see here, where did it start? So it started here. So this is the first one that we ran into. The second one is here. Um, so it event hack, an event did occur, uh, the argument, and then we specified what SLS to run and it specified with an argument of SSHD and it ran state.sls. So when state.sls ran, these are the difference. This is the output of state.sls. Here's a diff command. The file is being updated and so on and so on. Um, that's the comment that salt outputs, by the way. And it restarted SSHD and, and sorry, it stopped SSHD and started SSHD. Afterwards, uh, there was a, uh, another event. <laughs> Again, uh, I'm not sure why, but it did happen. And it targeted the same minion. And there was no diff this time. It's in a correct state. And it stopped and started SSHD as it was supposed to. And it ran twice. So I don't think that this option here, this, oh, I forgot to put it in there. That's probably why. So there's an option. If you look at the reactors um, uh, document, there's an option named disabled during state run. And that's specifically for this particular system. Not an on reactor, sorry, it's in beacons. So I believe I do have this in beacons. Uh, I could be wrong. So disable state run is true. So when I go to my base, oh wait, no, hold on. This is run, this is in pillars, not, so not base. So pillars, base, it is there. I'm not sure why that didn't get picked up, but it did replace the file twice it looked like for some reason. So that's a notable error. Uh, we might have to fix that in a little bit later, but that's essentially how the reactor works, is you make a change and it p picks it up, the event is sent, and then there's a reactor uh, salt site that runs, which runs another particular function that you could state, you can, you can run which is uh, another salt state in this particular case. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this up in videos into two. Um, actually, by the time you watch this, it will already be two because this is a very long session. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, session. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye.